Hi guys, I am here with a really fun workout today. Um, it's gonna be a workout with a light spring. So if you are on a balanced body reformer like myself, it's going to be a yellow spring. If you are on any other reformer, just go to your lightest spring that you have. And then my props that I'm gonna use today will just be two sets of weights. I'm gonna have a heavier set, which are two fives. And then we're gonna have one light weight, which I would suggest a two or a three pound weight. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll lie ourselves down to start. So when you guys lie down, headrest can be up or down to start. That's just gonna be up to you. And then I'm just gonna set my feet on the wooden platform out in front of me. My foot bar is down to begin. And then arms are just gonna be nice and long in our sides. And we're just gonna start with a breathing exercise quick. So. Let's just go ahead, we'll take a deep inhale. And as we inhale, I just want you guys to feel your ribs expanding out to the sides of the room and into the mat underneath you. And then on your exhale, I want you to feel your ribs just naturally draw back together. And then again, we're gonna take a deep inhale, just feeling our ribs expanding. Think about creating a nice deep imprint of our bodies down into the mat. And then just a deep exhale through the mouth. And then I always like to start with this breath and just noticing if anything is off from the center line of my body. So starting at my feet, noticing if my feet are evenly weighted, is my pelvis evenly weighted? Do I kind of feel if I have a little more elevation in one hip than the other? Are my shoulders evenly weighted on the carriage? Do my eyes look straight up to the ceiling or do I kind of notice that my head nods a little bit to the right or to the left? And I'm just making those small corrections as I breathe so I can get as centered as possible before I start moving today. All right, then let's just take one more deep inhale, one more deep exhale like that. And then we're gonna take another inhale, but this time on our exhale, I want us to roll ourselves into our 12 o'clock position. So we're flattening our low backs down into the mat. And then on our inhale, we'll go ahead and roll into our six, finding that nice arc. And then we're exhaling to roll into our 12, going into that flat back position. And then inhaling as we rock back into our six. And then we're just gonna continue to go back and forth from our 12 to our six. And then for those of you who haven't done pelvic clocking before, I just like to imagine that there's a nice big clock on my stomach. My 12 o'clock hand is pointed at my sternum. My six o'clock hand is pointed at my pubic bone. And then if I'm rolling a marble from my navel, it rolls back and forth from my 12 o'clock hand to my six o'clock hand. And we're exhaling in our 12 and we're inhaling in our six. All right, let's just do one more 12, one more six. And then from that six o'clock position, I'm just gonna bring myself right back into my neutral spine so I have that nice natural curvature of my low back. I'm gonna grab my shoulder blocks into my hands. My elbows will open out nice and wide. If you guys have pegs on your reformers, you can always hold onto your shoulder blocks or with your hold onto your pegs with your hands. And then we're gonna go knees up into a tabletop position. And I'm actually gonna go into a flat back position here, so no neutral spine. Now, keeping my shoulders anchored, I'm gonna inhale and sway my knees to the right side of the room again my right shoulder wants to stay heavy but my hip and my back can come up off of the mat and then on my exhale I'm going to engage my obliques to pull my knee center then I'm going to inhale sway to the left side my right shoulder stays heavy my hip my back can come up and then on my exhale I'm pulling my knees back center with my obliques now we're going to continue to sway back and forth from the right side to the left but if this is ever an issue if the weight of the legs is an issue for your spine, go ahead and just relax your feet right back down out in front of you, and you can do your knee sways with your feet down. We're gonna do one more right, one more left. Inhale, sway. Exhale, we wanna feel our obliques working to pull back, and then last one, inhale, sway. And then my obliques pull my legs back center. Relax the feet right back down out in front of us, and then our arms will go nice and long at our sides. Now. My headrest is all the way down, but if you guys do have your headrest up, go ahead and move them down. And we're just gonna go into a quick little bridging series before we start moving our carriage. So we're gonna 
place our feet out in front of us on the wooden platform. Mine are about hip distance away. We're gonna inhale in our neutral spines, and then on our exhale, we'll flatten our low backs down into the mat, so that 12 o'clock position, and then think from the tailbone, we're gonna peel our spines off of the carriage one vertebrae at a time. Now, when we get to the top, we're on a light spring. I want you to keep your carriages as close to your stoppers as you can, and then on your exhale, you're going to roll your spines all the way back down into the mat. Think one vertebrae at a time. We're inhaling in our neutral spine, exhaling, flattening our low backs down, peeling our spines up, using our glutes, our hamstrings, taking an inhale at the top, and then on our exhale, we'll slowly articulate our spines all the way back down into the mat. And we'll just do two more of those. The challenge here with this light spring is on the glutes and the hamstrings, just to keep those carriages nice and still. Inhaling at the bottom, last one. Exhale, you guys can flatten and peel, and we're gonna pause at the top for an inhale. Now, we're gonna hold ourselves up into our bridges. On our next inhale, we're gonna press our legs out as far as we feel comfortable. I suggest not going to straight legs, and then on an exhale, we'll pull the carriage back in. So I'm gonna press out, keeping just a micro bend to my knees, and then exhale, pull in glutes, hamstrings. Inhale, push out and then exhale, pull in. Now, for any reason, if the, you guys feel this in your backs at all, you can always lower your hips a little further down to the mat, and you can always do your hamstring curls with your butt a little further down. Otherwise, try to stay up into that bridge. We're inhaling to push, and we're exhaling, engaging our glutes, hamstrings to pull. We're gonna do three more. Exhale, pull in, two, and exhale, and then last one. All right, now once we come in, we'll pause in, we'll roll our spines all the way back down into the mat, and then once we come down, we'll just bring it right back into our neutral spines, and then if you guys do want your headrest to go right back up, you can prop your headrest up. I'm going to reach back and grab my right strap, just my right strap into my hand, and then when I grab a hold of my right loop, I'm gonna go through my short loop with my hand, and then I'm gonna grab onto the knot that is right on your rope, and we're gonna reach our arm up to the ceiling, and I have a fist. Neutral spines again, left arm at our side, we'll go knees up into a tabletop position, legs are always zipped together, so we're working to the center line of our bodies, and then on our exhale, we'll pull the right arm straight down towards our hip, and then we'll inhale and return right back up. Exhaling as we pull straight down, and then inhaling as we return. So we just really wanna feel our lat engaging as we press, that nice big muscle that runs up and down the side of the back, and then inhale, return. Exhale, pull down, and then inhale, return. Now, if this is too heavy for you, you guys can always hang on to your short loop instead of the knot. Exhale to pull down, and then inhale, return. All right, let's press all the way down. We'll hold here. On my inhale now, I'm gonna open my arm out to the side of the room, and then my exhale, I'm gonna press my palm to my hip. Inhale, open out to my side, and then exhale, palm to hip. So we wanna feel that lat and bicep engage now. And then if you guys do feel like you're being tossed around a little too much on your reformers here, you can hold onto the shoulder block like I am with my left hand, and that'll help stabilize your upper body a little more. Inhale, open, and exhale, press. Inhale, open, and exhale, press. And then this next time we press our palm to our hip, we'll just hold it at our hip. We'll bend our elbow now for our tricep press. We're gonna exhale, press the palm down. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. And then inhale, bend, and we'll just continue that tricep press. And then we'll just go for three, two, 
and then last one. Now this time I'm gonna keep my arm all the way down to the mat. I'll open it back out to the side of the room, making sure I'm not going past my shoulder, going straight up to the ceiling right over my shoulder, and then I'll pull right back down for a circle. So we're gonna open it out to the side, right back up to the ceiling over your shoulder, and then pulling right back down. Again, I am hanging on to my shoulder block with my left hand, just for a little extra stability of my torso here. We're gonna do one more circle in that direction. And then when we come back down to our hip, we'll pause at the hip and we'll reverse here. So we'll go up to the shoulder, right out to the side, and then we'll exhale, press the hip. And then just making sure every time the arm comes right back up, it's never going past our shoulder. So when it comes up, it's right up over our shoulder or chest, opening out to the side, and then pressing right back down. Last circle. And then when we come up, we'll pause, relax the feet down, we'll hang our right strap up, and then we'll do the same thing on the left side. So again, I'm gonna go through my short loop, I'm gonna grab the knot, I'll reach my left arm straight up over my shoulder, right arm can be at my side, or again, you guys can grab onto your shoulder block just for a little extra stability neutral spines and then we'll bring our knees up into our tabletop legs feet zip together exhale pulling just our left arm now straight down to our hip on an exhale and then we'll inhale return exhale to pull down and then inhale as we return and we'll just do about three more exhale down and inhale up again feeling that lat engage now on this next one, I'll hold my arm all the way down at my hip. I'm gonna inhale, open it just right out to the side of the room, making sure that I'm not going past my shoulder, and then I'll press it right back to my hip. Open out to the side, and then press my hip. Now this is the time where I'm going to hold on to my shoulder block personally with my right hand, just to stabilize my torso a little more. Inhale out, and exhale, press. Again, now really feeling that lat, and bicep engaged here. Two more. Inhale out, exhale, press to the hip. And now this next time we press our palm to our hip, we'll hold it there, we'll bend our elbow for our tricep press, we'll press the palm down to the mat, and then we'll inhale, bend. Again, at any point, you guys, if you need to switch to your short loop, if it's too heavy, go to that short loop. I do not want this super heavy for arms to start. Again, the idea behind the class today is just a nice light spring, which is going to be very hard for our abs. All right, now the next time we press our palm to our hip, we'll hold it there. We're gonna open our arm out to the side of the room, bring it up to the ceiling, and then we'll pull down to our hips. So we'll go out, up, and we'll exhale to pull down. Inhale out, up, and exhale down. All right, then this next time we go to our hip, we'll pause at our hip and we'll reverse. So we'll go up to the shoulder, out to the side, and then press to the hip. Again, just making sure that when our arm goes up and out, it does not go back past our shoulder. Let's do two more. And then last one here. All right, then when we come up, we'll just relax the feet down. We'll hang that strap back up onto the peg and we'll just go ahead and we'll sit ourselves off to the sides of our farmers. Okay, so when we sit up, I'm gonna keep my light spring on. I'm gonna add on three reds. So if you're on any other reformer, it's just gonna be your heavy springs. So we're gonna do footwork. I am on my three heaviest springs and then my lightest spring. And then I'll put my foot bar back up to the starting position. And then when I get my foot bar up, I'm gonna grab my heavier set of weights. Again, I have fives today. Feel free to go threes or fours. And then we'll go ahead and we'll lie ourselves down 
And the headrests, again, can stay up if you guys prefer them to be up. I'm gonna start with heels on the foot bar parallel with each other, just about sits bones distance away. So I always have them about a fist distance away from each other. And then we're going to start with the weights in our hands, our arms open out nice and wide to the sides room, just a little bend to our elbows, right back into our neutral spine. We're gonna exhale to push the carriage out today. And as we press, we're gonna bring the weights right up over our chest and then we're gonna inhale, come in. Exhale, press, inhale back, keeping that slight little bend to my elbows the entire time. So it's almost like my hug a tree motion here. Chest expansion, exhale out today, inhale back, exhale, push, inhale back. Now, I'm working the exhale on the way out because I want everything to be engaged. I wanna feel my legs, my glutes, my core, and my arms. Exhale, push, inhale back. So each exhale, I'm engaging my low abdominals. I'm thinking two inches underneath my belly button is drawing in and up my spine towards my solar plexus. Now, this next time we press out, I want you guys to pause, bend and come halfway in, open your arms all the way out to the sides of the room, hold the arms here, and then we're just gonna do little pulses of our carriage for six, four, three, two, one, we'll press out, reach the weights right back up, bend your knees, open the arms to come back in, and then we'll go arches of our feet on. When we get our arches on, they're gonna stay that fist distance, it's bone distance way. We're gonna bend our elbows wide out to the side so they're at a 90 degree angle. My palms should be rotated towards my foot bar. And then neutral spine again, you guys, same breath pattern. We're exhaling to push, inhaling back in. Exhale out and inhale back. Again, I wanna think on that exhale, I'm using everything on the way out. My abs are drying in, my legs are working to press, and my arms are working to push. We're gonna go for four, three, two, and then on this last one, bend your elbows back at the 90, come halfway in with the carriage, little pulses of the carriage again, for six, four, three, two, one, all the way out with our arms and legs, and then all the way back in. All right, now we'll go toes, balls of our feet onto the foot bar. Just have, make sure that you have all 10 of your toes on. We're gonna reach our weights right back up to the ceiling. My palms this time are rotated towards each other. And then I'm gonna bend my elbows so the weights go right to the sides of my head so we can do some skull crushers, some tricep extensions. So now as we exhale and we press out, we'll extend our arms up to the ceiling. We'll bend the knees and bend the elbows. Exhale, press and extend, inhale, bend. Exhale out and then inhale back. Now, as I'm pressing on my toes, I wanna think evenly weighted throughout my toes so I'm not rolling all of my weight to my little toes. I'm not rolling inward to my big toes. So I don't have any pronation or supination of my feet. I'm trying to stay evenly weighted throughout my toes. We'll do three, two. Now on this last one, we'll hold the legs out. We'll hold the arms up. We're going to keep the legs long, lower both heels underneath the foot bar, pause here. Bend your elbows, bring the weights right to the sides of your head. Now as we lift the heels, we'll extend the arms back up and we'll lower the heels and bend the elbows. Exhale, lift and extend. Inhale, lower and bend. Exhale up and inhale down. Now I always like a nice controlled lower of the heels and a nice controlled lift. So it's almost like a two count to lower and a two count to lift. So I'm not just like dropping them and popping them back up. Controlled lower, controlled lift, controlled lower, controlled lift. So I can feel that coming right from the backs of the legs into my glutes. All right, two more. And then last one. And then we'll bend, come all the way back in. 
arms at our sides, heels right back onto the foot bar, and we'll slide our heels all the way out to the side, so we're right into our wide second position. My toes, my knees are pointed out. My arms are gonna stay nice and long at my sides. This time I'll just hover them a couple inches up off the carriage, and then we'll exhale press, we'll open our arms out to a T, and then we'll inhale bend and come in. Exhale out, inhale back. Now, if we have any shoulder injuries, you guys can rotate your palms up towards the ceiling, and that'll help a little bit with shoulders. Exhaling away, inhaling back. And as I press, I'm squeezing my glutes. So I'm trying to get that push coming right from my glute max, which is right where your glute connects to your hamstring. Let's do three, two. Now on this last one, hold your arms out halfway in, little pulses of our carriage for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the arms out, press all the way out, bend, come all the way back in with our arms at our sides. All right, we'll go toes, balls of our feet right back onto the center of the foot bar. Again, just parallel with each other. Last thing that we're gonna do here, we'll hover our arms a couple inches at our sides. We're gonna press the carriage out, and then we're gonna go into our run, so we'll bend one knee, lower the opposite heel. Now, as I run, I'm gonna keep my arms hovering at my sides. I'm either gonna have my palms rotated to the floor, to the hips, or to the ceiling. And then if you guys wanna alternate where you're rotating your palms, you can alternate or you can hold in one spot, that is up to you. And again, just take that run at your own pace. Just make sure to hover those arms. We'll go for five. Two and one, and then we'll relax the arms. We'll just keep one heel lowered, one knee bent, and we're gonna stretch out the back of one leg. And then we'll go ahead and switch. All right, then let's lift the heels up. We'll bend our knees, we'll come in. I'm gonna set my weights to the sides first, just to make it safer to come up. And then I'll sit myself all the way up. Okay, so we're gonna take off our heavier springs now. So all of my heavy springs will come off. I'm back to that single yellow, or again, if you guys are on any other reformer, it is just your lightest spring. Headrests are gonna do, going to be all the way down. And then I'm gonna grab my one lightweight, again, I would suggest a two, maybe a three pound. I have a three pound weight today. And then we're gonna all put our weight just right in front of our carriages. We're gonna kneel on our reformers. And then when we kneel, if you guys need to hang on to your foot bars, you can. Now, if balance is an issue, I would suggest staying on both knees. If it is not, you can move into the most challenging part of this exercise, which is what I'll do. And then my feet are just gonna be through my headrest today, so I have plenty of space in front of me. Now, I'm gonna grab my weight into my left hand, and I'm gonna reach back and grab my strap into my right hand. And then depending on how heavy you guys want this for your arm, your long loop will be lighter for your arm, your short loop will be heavier for your arm. I'm gonna go short and you can always alternate long or short. And then from here, again, if balance is an issue guys, you're staying on both knees. Otherwise, you're gonna take your left foot onto the carriage. So your right knee is down and your left foot is down. Now, when you are here, we're gonna start with our right arm at our side, our palm faces forward, it's right at our hip, and then we'll reach our left arm out away from us and we're squaring our shoulders off to the wallet in front of us. Now, on an exhale, we're gonna lift the right arm up so it's right in line with the left, and then we'll inhale lower. And my arms are just about chest, maybe shoulder height. We're gonna exhale lift, and then inhale lower. Exhale, lifting the right arm up, inhaling down, and I am just keeping a slight little bend to both of my elbows. Now, if the weight becomes too much, you guys can always just set your weight to the side and do this exercise with no weight in your left hand. 
exhale lift and inhale lower now this next time I come up, I'm going to pause with my arms out away from me. I'm going to inhale, bend both elbows into my sides and exhale, reach both arms out. Inhale, bend in and exhale, reach out. So not only should we feel our arms working here, we should feel our legs working as well to stabilize this. Inhale and exhale. I got a nice little shake going on here. All right, we have two more. Now, this next time we press our arms out, we'll hold, we'll flip both palms down to the floor. I'm gonna keep my left arm long. I'm gonna bend my right elbow wide out to the side, and we're gonna exhale, press center. Inhale, bend wide, exhale, press center. Now, if we feel comfortable with our balance, we can bend our right elbow, rotate to the right side, and then press back center. If you guys don't feel comfortable with your balance, stay just facing center and just bend your elbow. We're gonna do two more here. Exhale, press, and then last one, bend wide, press center. Now keep the arms long, palms slip down to the floor. Our shoulders are down. We're gonna slowly lower the arms down towards our hips with control. You're not done yet. You're gonna exhale, lift those arms right back up, shoulder, chest height. Inhale, lower down with control. We're gonna feel those deltoids and traps working on that lift and lower. Exhale up, inhale down. We just have one more, lift and lower. All right, now when we lower, I'm gonna grab my long loop because I was on my short one. You guys can always hang on to your foot bar for a little balance here. I'm gonna set my knee down and then hang my strap back up. All right, now we'll do the same thing on the other side, switching the weight into your right hand and then the strap into your left. Again, you guys, if you wanna ditch the weight, you can ditch the weight. If you don't feel comfortable kneeling on one knee, you'll stay down on both. And then our long loop is lighter for our left arm, our short loop is heavier. I'm going to take my right foot onto the carriage and then my left arm is at my side. Palm is facing forward. Our right arm is reaching out. Our shoulders are squared to the wall out in front of us. Exhale, we're gonna lift the left arm up and then inhale lower. Exhale, lift, inhale lower. Again, I have a slight bend to both of my elbows and then we're gonna start to feel our legs working as well as our arms. We'll do three more. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower for two. And then on this last one, we'll hold up. Pause up, we're gonna inhale, bend both elbows in. Exhale, reach both arms out. Inhale, bend. Exhale, reach out for that offering. Inhale and exhale. Now, just making sure when we push forward, we're not rounding our shoulders and our spine forward, so no protraction of those shoulders. Just think reaching the arms out, the shoulders stay back, bending to come right back in, the collarbones stay wide. Now, the next time we press out, we'll hold. Flip both palms down to the floor. The right arm is gonna stay long. Bend your left elbow wide. Exhale, press center. Inhale, bend wide. Exhale, press center. Now, if we feel comfortable, we can add in the rotation of our spine as we bend the elbow, and we can exhale, press back. Again, if we do not feel comfortable with our balance, stay center. Last one. All right, now when we press, we're gonna pause. We're gonna slowly lower arms down with control. You're not done yet. You're gonna lift back up, shoulder chest height with control. Inhale, lower, feeling those deltoids and traps. Exhale, lift. Two more. Exhale up, that left arm, left leg should really be feeling it. And then last one. All right, now when we come down, if you guys need to hold onto your foot bar for a little stability, you can. You can set your right knee down. I'm gonna hang my strap up, and then we'll just go ahead and sit ourselves off to the sides. Okay, so I'm gonna set my weight to the side as well. When we sit up, we're gonna stay on this light spring, and then I'm going to put my foot bar down just one notch. 
And then when you guys get your foot bar down just a little bit, we do want it up for one of these exercises. So just make sure it doesn't go all the way down. We're gonna stand right in front of our reformers. I have my heavy weights back into my hands. And then I'm gonna go ahead and step on the platform with my left foot first. And then I'm gonna step onto my carriage with my right. Now we are on a light spring, so just be very careful standing. The wider we have the feet, the more challenging this will be for our adductors, our inner thighs. The more narrow we have our feet, the easier this will be. Arms are at our sides, palms are facing our hips. We're gonna inhale, press out, just lift our arms to a T, and then on our exhale, we'll pull right back in. We'll inhale, press away, and exhale, pull right back in. Pressing out, arms lift, and pull in. Now, if the shoulders are struggling you guys can always just set the weights to the sides and you can do the same movement of the arms without the legs we really want to feel those inner thighs working to pull us in i'm going to go for three and in two and back and then last one all right, now when I come in, I'm gonna step up off of my carriage first backwards, and then I'm gonna step down. I'm gonna walk to the other side, and then I'm gonna take my right foot onto my platform first. I'll step onto my carriage. Again, the wider I have my feet, the more challenging this will be for my adductors, my inner thighs. And then we'll inhale, press out, we'll lift the arms back out to our T, and we'll exhale to pull in. Now I am also being mindful here that as I press away, I am not rotating my weight to the insides of my feet so I don't have any pronation of my foot. I'm pushing out, I'm trying to keep that weight even. And then I'm using my adductors to pull in. Again, if the arms are too much, you guys, ditch those weights. We have three more. Inhale away, exhale in, two, and in, and then last one, out, and in. All right, now we'll step off of our moving part first, the carriage. I'm gonna step off, set my weight to the sides. I'm gonna go ahead, stay on my light spring, and we're gonna do planks with this light spring. So just be very careful again, you guys, carriage moves very easily with this light spring. So I'm gonna have my hands onto my foot bar first, and then I will step up onto my carriages. When you step up, start with your toes right at the edge of your carriages, and then we're gonna have our feet about sits bones distance away, so about that fist distance away, maybe a tiny bit wider than that. Thumbs with the fingers, anytime you guys have your hands on the foot bar, and then I'm going to shift my weight forward now so that my shoulders are right over my hands. Now, I'm going to inhale and slowly press my legs out into a plank. My arms don't move, my shoulders stay right over my hands, my heels lift high. I'm gonna tuck my pelvis, hike my hips, and bring the carriage right back in. I'm gonna inhale, press out, my shoulders stay, my legs press. I'm gonna exhale, tuck, hike to come in. Now, if we wanna add in a little arm work with this, we can add in a push up. So we can bend, press, and then tuck, hike. That push up is an option. You guys don't need to add it in if you don't want to, but if you want a little extra arm, chest work, feel free to add it in. Pressing out, I'm doing my push ups, and then tuck, hike to come in. I want you guys to think when you lift the hips, you're drawing your abdominals into your back to lift. We're all gonna do one more. Inhale out, exhale, tuck, hike, bring it right back in. Okay, we're gonna pause in. I'm gonna step my feet just a few inches further back. And this is actually gonna make this a little more challenging for myself. So if you guys don't want it as hard, you can walk your feet a little further forward. If you want this even harder, you can walk them further back. Now, my hands are back, or my shoulders are back this time. I'm gonna shift my weight forward again, shoulders right over my hands. I'm gonna press my carriage all the way back out, and I'm gonna pause out here. All right, no push-ups this time. 
We're gonna come halfway in with our carriage. So we're gonna tuck our pelvis, hike, lift, halfway in with the carriage, press all the way out. Halfway in with the carriage, all the way out. Exhale, lift, inhale out. Exhale, lift, inhale out. Think two inches underneath your belly button is drawing in to your back to lift the hips. Exhale, inhale, give me three more and out two last one we got this you have to go all the way out and then tuck hike bring it all the way back in all right we're gonna step off of our reformers and we're gonna go into some more arms and legs all right so staying on that light spring grab your straps off of the pegs I'm gonna take my straps into one hand I'm gonna pull my carriage out and then I'm just gonna step right into my well and I'm gonna face my reformer when I step in. When I step in, my spring will just be right in between my legs and I'm gonna sit my butt down. Okay, so depending on what reformer you are on for these Allegros, I am good to hold onto my short loops, um, but for some of you guys might have to use your long loops for this one. We're gonna go short or long. We'll reach the arms out. Again, you guys, longer are just gonna be a little lighter, shorter are gonna be a little heavier. We're gonna reach the arms away from us and our palms are gonna be rotated towards each other. My feet are anchored to the floor and on an exhale, I'm gonna bend my elbows to pull my elbows in towards my ribs and then I'll inhale and extend out. Exhale, bend to pull to the ribs and then extend. And I should really feel my lats firing here as I pull and then extend. Now, as I'm here, I want to think I am evenly weighted throughout both sits bones. My spine is like I'm sitting up against a wall, so I'm never leaning back. I'm never hinging forward. It's just staying nice and tall. I like to imagine that if I have a crown on my head or if I have a string on the top of my head, that string is lifting me up towards the ceiling. We're gonna do three more here, two, and then last one. Okay, now when we extend, we're gonna hold the arms nice and long. I'm going to bring my feet in just a little closer towards my foot bar, so closer to my body, not closer towards each other. And then I'm going to set up with my knees right almost, my, right almost over my toes and then we're all going to bend our elbows in towards our ribs and we'll pause here now we're going to press into our heels and we're going to imagine that our spine is still up against that wall and we're going to slide straight up that wall with our back keep the elbows into your ribs slide right back down that wall we're sliding up the wall and down the wall now my butt is barely touching the wooden platform as I go down. I'm going down the wall and up the wall. Now, if you guys have a mirror, it is really nice to look at yourself in the mirror and see if you are going straight up and straight down. Straight up, straight down. Push into those heels. Elbows stay into your rib cage. Let's do two more. And then on this last one, we'll pause at the top. We'll go halfway down, hold, and we're gonna do little pulses up and down for six, five, keep those elbows, four, three, two, on one. We're going all the way down and extending the arms. Okay, I'm gonna change to my longer loops for this exercise. I'm gonna reach my arms out away from me, my palms now, are flipped up to the ceiling. I'm gonna think, same setup before, heels anchored, butt down, spine long, exhale, curl into a bicep curl, and inhale, extend. Exhale, bicep curl, inhale, extend. Curl, and extend, curl, and extend. Exhale in, and inhale out. We're gonna go for four, three, two, and one. All right, now when we extend, 
We'll pause. We have one more bicep curl. And we're going back into those squats. So let's reach those arms long to start. Sits bones evenly weighted. Sit up nice and tall. Shoulders are back. Collarbones are wide. Exhale, one bicep curl. Stay. Ready? Push into those heels. We're going up that wall, down the wall, and we're staying in that bicep curl the entire time. Woo! I am working here. Keep that bicep curl straight up, straight down. Barely tap down, you guys. When you get down, let's do five, four, three, two. All right, ready on this last one. Pause at the top for a second. Keep that bicep curl halfway down, up and down. Little pulses up and down. We got it for four, three, two, one. Stand all the way up. Extend your arms. Step out ah, and hang your straps up. All right. Thankfully, we're done with that. We, you guys, are going to go ahead and stay on that light spring. We're going to kneel on our reformers facing our straps. And then when you guys kneel, I'm going to take my hands right onto the outsides of the headrest, kind of right behind my shoulder blocks. My wrists are pretty good. Um, but if you guys do have any wrist issues, I would suggest dropping down onto your forearms and your headrest rather than being on your palms. If you do come down onto your forearms, you'll just have to scoot your knees a couple inches further back. All right, so I'm back onto my palms, my shoulders over my hands, my hips are right over my knees, and then I'm gonna take my right strap, right where the rope kind of connects to the loop, I'm going to pull in and put the short loop on the arch of my right foot. All right, now, when I get it here, I'm gonna again think shoulders over hands, hips right over my knees. I'm stabilizing from my shoulders and my core. I'm in my neutral spine. I'm gonna exhale, press my right leg just out and slightly up and then bend right back in. Now, this is pretty light for me. Exhale, press a little lift and inhale back. But again, we're just kind of working with a lighter spring today. Exhale, press, inhale back. Now, I'm thinking my eyes, you guys, looking down to the floor. If I have that string at the top of my head, it is pulling my head forward. So I'm finding a nice little oppositional pull of my body as I press my leg out and bend in. Let's do three more, two, and then on this last one, I'm gonna press out and I'm gonna hold. Now, I'm gonna dip my right toes straight down towards my springs, and then I'm gonna exhale, lift straight back up. Inhale, dip, exhale, lift, inhale, dip, exhale, lift. Squeezing my glute so I can get, again, that glute max to fire. Dip and lift, dip, and lift. All right, now this next time we come up, we're gonna pause at the top. We're gonna bring our right leg slightly out to the side. We're gonna go down to the floor this time to the outside frame and then kick that leg right back up and out to the side. Floor and up, floor and up. So the last one was straight down. This one is slightly out to the right side. I want you guys to feel your obliques engage this time to help stabilize your torso. Three more. And then last one, come up, bend your knee, strap will come off of your foot, and then just carefully bring that carriage in. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna grab right where my loop kind of connects to my rope. I'll pull in, short loop will go on, and then I'm setting up shoulders over hands, hips right over my knees, stabilize from the shoulders and the core, and then ready, we're gonna exhale, press a little lift of that leg, Inhale, bend, exhale, press a little lift, and inhale, bend. Again, I think kind of squeeze that glute as you guys press back with this light spring, telling your body to activate that glute max here. Again, I am lengthening through the crown of my head. My shoulders are out of my ears. 
my abs are drawing into my back. And I'm gonna go for four more. Three, two, and then on this last one, we'll hold. All right, now we're gonna dip the toes straight down, lift straight up, dip straight down, lift straight up. So just straight down and up to start. Again, think squeeze that glute as you guys lift that leg so you can feel your glute max fire here. Three more. Two. All right, now this last one, we'll hold up. We'll bring our legs slightly out to the left. We'll go down to the floor, kick it up, down to the floor, kick it up. Now, try to keep your pelvis, you guys, nice and still. It's gonna be staying parallel to the floor as you dip and lift. Again, we should really feel our left obliques engage here. Give me four more. Three, two, and one. All right, now when we come up, bend the knee, set it down, take that strap off. We'll hang it back up onto the peg, and then I'm just gonna sit off to the side. Okay, so we'll put our foot bar back up to its original position. And then I am just gonna go ahead and go into two outside red springs. I'll take my light spring off now. And then if you guys are on a different reformer, it's just your two heavier springs. We'll lie ourselves down. And then when we lie down, I'm gonna grab my long loops and they're gonna go right onto my feet. So I'll push out, go one foot in and the other. Now again, headrest, you guys, if you like them up, they can be up. We're all gonna come back into our neutral spines. So we should have that nice natural curvature of our low backs. My pelvis is evenly weighted, my sacrum is heavy, and my legs are just gonna go up as high as I can hold my neutral. I'm gonna start in my Pilates stance so my heels are together, my toes are turned apart. And then on our exhale, we'll lower the legs straight down towards our springs. And then on your inhale, you guys can hinge to come up. Exhale, lower. And inhale, hinge. Exhale, down. And inhale, hinge. Thinking about engaging your core as you lower. So our abdominals are drawing in and up our spine towards our solar plexus as we exhale and we lower. And then as we inhale and we hinge to come up, we're maintaining that neutral spine. All right, now the next time we go down, we're gonna hold our legs down. And then on our inhale, we're gonna open the legs out to the sides of the room, stay in that same plane and draw your heels together. Inhale, open, and exhale, close. Inhale, open, and exhale, close. Open, and close again, staying in that same plane. I wanna feel those adductors firing again. We'll go for three, two, and then on this last one, we'll pause together. I'm just gonna bring my feet parallel. I'll lower my legs a little further down towards my springs. We'll open them wide up to the sides, and we're just gonna circle around and back up. Going straight down, circling around and back up. Four circles, again, we wanna think neutral spine, you guys. Pelvis just stays nice and still. Two more. And then last one. When we come up, we'll pause, and then let's reverse those circles. All right, I'll do two more, and then last one. Then when I come up, let's go ahead, let's just the, let the low back go flat, the leg straight up. I'm gonna tug on my straps, just give my hamstrings and my low back a little stretch, and then I'll open my legs wide, 
Give my adductors a little stretch. We'll bend our knees, bring the bottoms of the feet together. We'll come into that little butterfly stretch. And then we'll take our straps off of our feet. All right, so we'll hang the straps up. I'm gonna sit off to the left side of my reformer. And then when I sit off to my left side, we're gonna finish off with just a middle red spring and a yellow. So now I am on my heaviest spring and then my lightest spring. So one heavy, one light. I'm gonna step my right foot back to the shoulder block that is closest to me. And then my left leg is right next to the reformer. And when I pick my right knee up, I want my left hip right over my ankle. I'll take both hands onto the foot bar and then I'm gonna bend my standing leg. So my left knee is gonna bend, but when I bend my left knee, my butt is gonna sink back a few inches. So my right knee stays hovering off the carriage. Now, keep everything still but this right leg. You're gonna exhale, press the carriage out with your right leg, bend to come in, press out, bend in. The left knee, you guys, stays bent and then you're squeezing your glute to push. My hips are staying parallel with the floor. And again, I wanna think I'm squeezing my right butt to press out so that I can get that glute max of fire. I should also feel my quad and my hamstring. Out, in, out, in. Let's do four, three, two, and one. All right, now we'll set our right knee down. We'll take off our red spring, the heavy spring. Step your left foot just a little further forward. Not the heavy spring. Take off your light spring, keep on your heavy, and then press back into a lunge. So again, one heavy spring, you guys, not one light spring. And then we're just gonna hold this lunge wherever that feels good in your body. And then just a few deep breaths. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Then we'll bring our carriages in. We'll add on that yellow spring again, light spring. And then we're gonna walk to the other side of my reformer. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna push my weights out of the way. My left foot is back this time. Right foot is on the floor. When I pick up my left knee, you guys, again, I want my hip right about over my ankle. Both hands are on the foot bar. And when I bend my standing leg, my right leg, my butt sinks back a few inches towards my heel. My left knee stays lifted up off the carriage. Now the only thing moving will be my left leg. So I'm gonna press out and in, out and in. I wanna think again, squeezing my glute as I press out, in, out, in. Let's do five, two, one. All right, set the left knee down, take off the light spring, step the right foot just a little further forward and then press back with our left knee first, press back with the right and we'll hold that lunge wherever it feels comfortable, you guys. So if you ever wanna hold onto the frame, you can. You can come down onto your forearms. I always let people move through this stretch if they wanna move by bending and extending their standing leg. It is completely up to you. All right, then we'll bring our carriages all the way back in. And then when you guys come in, you are all done for your class today. I hope you guys like the workout. Please like the video, subscribe and we'll be on to another one next week.